Hello students, welcome to your channel. Please like, share and subscribe your own channel, School Studies. School Studies is pleased to announce the launch of our educational website, Patel Section. After years of hard work and dedication, we are delighted to officially announce the launch. Our goal with this website is to provide our students with an easier way to learn the lesson and prepare for exams. Today we will see a video related to GSEB Solution Class 9 Social Science Chapter 7 Post Independence India Question 2. We have already discussed Question 1 of this chapter in my previous video. If you want you can subscribe my channel and go through the video. Today we will discuss Question 2 of your textbook. So let's discuss Question 2. Which appeal did Sardar Patel make to integrate princely states in the Union of India? After gaining independence, Deputy Prime Minister and the Home Minister Sardar Vallabhai Patel appealed to the kings and nawabs of princely state that they should voluntarily forsake their respective state in the interest to their subjects and the Union of India. Thus stimulated nationalism. Sardar Patel assured them to protect their rights and interests. Why was there necessity to use police force in Hyderabad? Nizam of Hyderabad with its states from southern part of India declared, in, declared it independence on 15th August. As far as its geographical location, it was bound to join India. Hyderabad won't be able to remain as an independent state as it is surrounded by Indian territory. Nizam clarified the matter by saying that if the country will be divided, then owing to the ideological reason and geographical reasons. Under such circumstances, they would prefer to remain independent. Negotiations began with Nizam. Sardar Patel bluntly stated to the Negotiator of Nizam that the people of Hyderabad are eager to be with the Union of India. Nizam officers started committing atrocities on people of Hyderabad. Ultimately, Hyderabad was merged with the Union of India by using police force on 18 September 1948. Next, why did the French government agree to relinquish the their Indian settlements. French government had its five places, Pondicherry, Karakal, Chandranagar, Mahi and Yamna under their, uh, un, were under their control. When India got independence at the time of people of French colony wanted to join the Union of India disparately. They started uh, vigorous movements for the purpose. The French tried to suppress this freedom movements. In the Menmouth meeting organized at the Pondicherry, people gave the French government the Hind Chodo slogan in 1948. The Indian government started the negotiation for peaceful solution of the Pondicherry issue with the French government. In Yenam, sorry, in Yenam, people's liberation, liberation army had taken over the administration in their hands on June 13, 1954. The French government realized people's rage and was compelled to start negotiation with the Indian government. Fourth, what is Operation Vijay? Why was it carried out? On 15th August 1947, political leaders and satyagrahis entered Dewan Daman and Goa. In Free Goa negotiation, agitation, thousands of voluntary died. As attempts such negotiation, persecution, and satyagraha proved to be unsuccessful. The Indian government decided to begin Operation Vijay to liberate Goa, Daman, and Diu. So, this was question 2 of GSEB solution for class 9th social science. I hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you. Please leave comment, question or doubts in comment section if you have any or you can drop a mail to us. You will find my email id at the end of this video. You can also join us on Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, connect us on LinkedIn or tweet us on Twitter. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you.